Hey guys, this is Sahir. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we're going to unbox some packages that I received. One of them I did purchase and the other one was sent to me. Um, but of course, you already know we're going to do a nail design using the products that I have today. Honestly, I want to go straight into full nails. Halloween is over. It is done. Nobody is thinking about it anymore. So yeah, let's just jump right in and get right into this video. Okay, first off, I want to open this one. I actually already took it out the physical box, but this was sent from Amazon, I think. Um, so it says Instant Apex Sculpt Acrylic Tips, 120 pieces in nail glue set. So acrylic tips, sculpted acrylic tips. What does that mean? It is by Tip X, right? That's why I see it. Tip X Instant Apex little catchy size looks like this box purple cute let's open it. i have not opened the physical box yet so i just want to open it i don't know if i'm going to use it because i'm not sure what it is oh my god and as you can see i took the nails off honestly i didn't even take it off it like started popping off like i started feeling it lift if you guys seen the other video i did this set and then i rushed doing the set i didn't prep i didn't do anything to the physical nails for them to stay and they came off like butter you guys i think it lasted maybe like two days <laughs> and then i just ripped them off but that's what you get for not prepping your nails but honestly i didn't really do much to it either like oh i think i did put a peel off base school so that helped it a lot so it says nail tips base gel nail glue is it like a regular press on a full cover tip type of thing let's see Ooh. Can I zoom you out? Nail lamp guide. Okay, there's a nail lamp. And they, of course, you already know. It gives you... Oh, that's cute. It's probably under here. It gives you these steps. Okay, so it definitely looks like it is full cover tips. Oh, this is interesting. It comes like this. Oh, that's cool. Maybe we will use these. Oh, these are sturdy. Oh, they're strong. Oh, they are really stiff and hard they are thick I, you guys cannot tell from this camera but they feel really sturdy which is good okay i think we're gonna use these oh they have a, an extremely high apex wow okay i'm gonna leave that there we have nail glue okay i guess you put that inside here foundation base gel oh, look at the little knife right here why well, i thought it was underneath we have a cute little lamp i like that it has like everything here little nail file the cord oh so a nail file and a buffer on the other side this is perfect because doing this hand is a pain in the booty for me so doing full cover tips yeah i'm all for it let me lift this i'm just curious just to see if there's something under here nope nothing okay so we're gonna leave this out because we're gonna do this and the sizes go from zero to eleven let me see what the zero looks like so this is what the zero looks like you can definitely tell just looking at the size of this how thick it is oh wow and they're not bending wow I, I feel like i could even go a size lower this is a size one. Oh yeah that's so much better okay y'all these are thick i'm not even gonna lie the tip itself is freaking thick i like it i like it so far these are good i'm actually amazed that has a high apex it's so thick it kind of feels like a magnifying glass like when you're looking through it it is <laughs> look hold on hold on this is the the foundation gel i just want to see is it making it bigger it is get out yo we have like a little magnifying glass that is crazy you could definitely tell how thick these are just by this alone is making the words larger that is hilarious wow okay kudos kudos to them omg so okay i understand i get it so it is not even hollow inside it's just thick you don't even you're not even gonna need a lot of gel this whole top part is filled for you already like that's why it's so thick and sturdy like there's nothing that you need to fill in that is that's why it's like a little magnifying glass that is so cool all right all right all right moving along we're gonna use these I'm gonna link that on my Amazon storefront because I'm pretty sure I don't have a physical like separate link for it. So go to my Amazon storefront and I'll have it linked there. Okay, next. Let me open this one. Okay, so this is, oh, you know what's so funny? It's like the same color. Y'all, I'm excited for this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, 
airbrush. I have not had an airbrush and I'm always seeing them since like year or two when they started coming, I guess like rolling out again. I remember back in the day, I used to always want to get the little airbrush design from the salon, you know, getting a little curve, getting like a physical like scenery on your nails. That was like on trends back then. I kind of want to do one of those nail designs, but I might have to say that for another video. But for a fact, I want to use this today. Yo, I'm excited about this. So I ordered this. This, nobody sent this to me, so y'all already know. But we gonna see. I think I'm gonna really like it off the bat because there's so many different designs you can do with this kind of thing. So this is what the packaging looks like. Airbrush, beauty airbrush system. Let's just jiggle it out. My God. Okay, this little dropper thing fell. Oh my God, it is pink. I specifically wanted pink. So this is manual. Who reads that? Uh, we have the little cleaner tool. That's the only thing, like in between colors. Are you supposed to clean it out and then add a new color in? Or can you just go in with the next color and then like just filter the other color out? I don't know, we're gonna test it. Um. Oh my God, it's so cute. I was not expecting for this to be this thin and small. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is the extra piece. I think this is actually piece. Maybe I should look at the instructions and the directions. What is this guy? I thought the thing was smaller. Should I just pretend like I know what I'm doing? We're just gonna screw that on there. Oh, maybe that goes on the inside? Stop! Oh, it scared me. What is this for then? I thought this was for you to turn it on and off. Maybe not. Okay, this goes here. Does it? Yes, I was right. What is this for? Let me read. Okay, so I still don't know what these things are for. Okay, maybe if you're gonna use a lot of paint, right? Then you use this. I would think so. I would think that's what that's for. Okay, for now I'm just gonna charge it while I look at everything else. Okay, next, you guys. I got some airbrush paint. Now, let me just say something. I seen a video where they were talking about that yes, you can put polish inside and then like mix alcohol or acetone to dilute it. But I was seeing a lot of people saying that it's not good for you, it's not good for your lungs, it's not good for all the sections, blah, 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 blah. You know that, right? So I was like, just to be on the safe side, let me get just the actual airbrush paint. So that's what I got. So I ended up getting this. Um, this is the brand. It has 28 colors. And this is what the bottles looks like. Water-based, ready to spray. I am hoping when I top coat, it's not gonna smear. So we're gonna test it out. These bottles are a freaking decent size too. Like they're pretty big. So yeah, so I got all of these colors, 28 colors to play with. We'll put that to the side. And then I'm excited about this because this reminds me of, like I said, back in the day when I used to go to the salon, I used to pick what nail design I wanted. And it had like a lot of different sceneries, like a palm tree, the water, the waves, they had like clouds, they had like a whole bunch of different stuff. So I got the freaking stencils. Oh my God. So I think I'm gonna have to buy a separate book because I'm gonna organize them like to the T. They're small stencils, but I remember having to pick from a wall and then they will go and they're a little book or they have like a folder where they have to flip and find a little stencil belt to make the image that I wanted. This is what they look like. For me, I, what I would have to do is if I want a specific nail design, let's say I wanted this, right? I would have to look for this number card and I'm assuming, oh yeah, you see like this one is 61. Oh right, yeah, boom, 61. Ew. Whatever this is, if I wanted to do it, it's on this stencil, which is cool. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun fun you know, i remember doing some of these i was like obsessed with doing the airbrush technique on my nails i thought it was so cool i was so it okay so there's a whole bunch of different styles a whole bunch of different things that you can achieve that is freaking that actually looks like a little bit of a vagina no that looks kind of crazy <laughs> 
y'all bringing back memories all right you know what i'm gonna put these to the side so i ended up getting two different packs this says this is set number four and then this one is set number five so y'all already know i need to go back and get one two or three yeah i'm gonna have to get like a little book and just match it and then i'll put match the cards together like so that'll make it so much easier let me just open this really fast just to see what it looks like and this is throwback and this material is like a, a thin, hear it? A thin plastic. All right, I'm just flip through these really quick just so I could see. These are like little elephants. I'm gonna put these away because this is going to be for another video. And then lastly, because I didn't do my research and when I started buying the water-based acrylic and then the stencils, I came across this. And honestly, I don't know if you need this but i got it anyway so this and i figured out the package this is airbrush cleaner do you need this specifically probably not can you use alcohol maybe but just to be on the safe side you see environmentally safe i got this <laughs> and it's odorless fast acting cleaner you probably don't need this it's probably water is it no there's like little bubbles popping out it's definitely not water it smells like soap. It's probably Dawn dish soap, you guys. It smells just like soap. Anyway, I got it. Just to be on the safe side, like off the head. Anyway, so let's do some nails. It's sweater weather. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. We're going to not do any sweater weather. <laughs> sweater nails. We're going to do a really cute fall nail design. Okay, first things first. Nails is looking like caca. We're gonna fix that really fast. Honestly, you don't wanna do any kind of cuticle prep today. So I'm going in straight. Whoa, whoa. I am at 6,000 RPM. If you guys was wondering, this is the nail file, the nail drill that I've been using. Melody Susie, I don't remember the physical name, but I will link it for you guys. This is like the white and the pink top. Um, And this is what the handle looks like. She is dirty, but she works perfectly fine. So really quick. <sighs> this is the part that makes me nervous because I'm still like, I'm like never comfortable when it comes to working on this hand. And I be feeling like sometimes I'm gonna like overdo it. So I try my best to not do it too much. And honestly, I think depending on how this nail design comes out, I'm probably gonna keep these on. So I'm doing my prep the physical normal way and I'm not going to apply base coat. My peel off base coat, I mean. Should I? Maybe I should. I think I am. Okay, I'm gonna keep going around i'm just removing the shine just removing the shine and any kind of dead skin that might be on my nail plate because you already know that's gonna cause lifting and we don't want that oh my god and i totally forgot to pick for the giveaway winner um i apologize i'm sorry i'm gonna do that today and i will leave the winner towards the end because i'm probably gonna message that person now i have to pick so and if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's actually, it's not like a giveaway giveaway. Well, technically I'm giving things away, but like I would, since I moved, I was finding stuff that I don't necessarily need anymore in my nail room. So it's a lot of like polish, um, like some glitter, like a lamp that I don't need, a nail lamp. So all of it is still good, slightly used, but like I said in the video that I was doing it in, I'd rather give it to somebody who is going to put it to use and not let it collect dust, you know? Because right now, it's just sitting there looking at me like, what are you gonna do with me, ma'am? <laughs> this is what we got. I'm gonna apply a peel off base coat because this is just gonna make me feel a little bit more safer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start measuring out my nails. I like the little stand. I feel like it keeps it all like organized. Oh my God, I just freaking messed it up. Lordy, I'm sorry guys. So thumb, size one, beautiful. Oh, that is snug. They're, they're tight. Okay, ring finger is size four, which means a size three is my middle nail. Okay, and then pointer would be a size five. Oh, that is tight. Am I four on my pointer? No, that is too big. Okay, I guess we're gonna go with that one. He looks kind of wide. Five is pinching my sidewalls and it kind of hurts. 
Oh yeah, I can't do that. It's too skinny. Oh, that hurts. Okay, so I guess for my ring and pointer, I'm a size four, which that's never happened to me before. And for my pinky, let's go with a size seven. I feel like my nail sizes are off with this brand. I can go down one size. Oh, you see, it's too tight. It's like it pinches too much. It fits sidewall to sidewall. It's just pinching. I am never a size seven on my pinky. That is so weird. Even that's large. I'm usually like a nine on my pinky. The mm. fall. Okay. Am I supposed to etch the inside? Ugh. Where is the manual? Foul both sides. Foul. <sighs> Foul. Okay. They. That is. I know how to read. Kind of. <laughs> File the both sides and edge at 45 degrees to fit your cuticle line. Okay, so they want me to file it first, just the cuticle part. Okay, so let's etch this really fast. We're gonna go on top. They said on top, right? And then on the inside. But they didn't say like all the way in. Okay, so base gel, calling it foundation. We're gonna go ahead and apply that. This does not look like a rubber base gel, it just says base gel. So, so we're gonna just go in, gonna apply a thin layer on all my nails. This goes out to the ones who doubt it. I'm gonna cure that. 60 seconds. Okay, so now I got my instant apex nail tip glue. Oh wait, wait, I didn't plug my lamp. Let me just plug this in really quick. Hold on, hold on. The cord is too stiff and it's making it full. Look at it. <laughs> Stop. Stop turning on. I'm trying to fix you, cord. Stop turning on. Oh, this is sensitive already. Oh my God, this cord is not letting it lay down. Cord. It's gonna fall, it's like wobbly. <laughs> the cord doesn't wanna stay down. So let's go. I'm gonna take some of it and put it on the tip. I don't even know how much. Oh, I think that's like a lot. Am I supposed to smear it? I would think I need to smear it. Then, oh, oh, I put way too much on. Can I take some off? It's okay, just gonna go with it. Uh oh, uh oh, my finger doesn't fit. Okay, how was that? Did I do that crooked? Oh, that feels so weird because it's like thick already. Oh, you see that apex? It's there. All right, so definitely less gel. Let's do the next one. I have to find a way to hold it because my nails are not letting me put it in. So far, I'm liking the physical tips. The only thing I'm not liking is this lamp. I just feel like the opening is so tight, like it's hard. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a full cure in my full size lamp for a full 60 seconds. Just to make sure it's all cured. I like this little gel too. Okay, so I did a full cure for 60 seconds. This one's a filing. Don't want to use your little file. I think I'm gonna use your little file. So I just was a little bigger. But we're gonna file these 
like the tip a little bit more straighter just like that nothing crazy because it does have like a little piece like sticking out i want it oh that hurts like my teeth and then i'm gonna go around the cuticle part because i do have like you see like right here is all this is gel so if i could file it off with this oh i just hurt myself i'm gonna take out my nail file my nail drill i mean i'm gonna go at nine and i'm just gonna go around there you go see i'm able to take that extra little piece out because that file was hurting me Whatever I see a little extra like hanging gel piece, that's what I'm trying to remove with this nail file right now. Look at you. Just buff the surface because we're gonna go in with some polish and I want to make sure this thing is gonna stick okay I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cleanse the nail surface like so so, using my nail cleanser, of course. Okay, so I ended up taking out these colors. These are from Nail Reserve, you guys. And these are all, like, um, it reminds me of fall. And it's more of, like, a deeper color story that I kind of wanted to go about. So, I took out this one. It's called Cinnamon Roll. Uh, this one is See You, which is, like, a green mountain walk. And then, lastly, we have Plum. I'm going to do it like this, in this order. And then repeat the Plum on my thumb because it's just a gorgeous color. So, let's do that. I'm going to do that to all of them so i know for a fact this one is going to be the purple i'm gonna do two coats and y'all i am horrible when it comes to painting so yeah also i had a promo code with nail reserve so if you want to go ahead and check that out so you guys can save some money So this one, I'm gonna have to redo this one. It like got bubbly. Okay, I don't know how I feel about them. Like, I'm having mixed feelings. I think I'm gonna take the purples away and I have to redo this blue, yeah. I think the purple is throwing me off. It's a really pretty color, but it's throwing me off. Where's the nail file? So really fast, I'm going to sacrifice a buffer for it <laughs> and just buff the surface. Because I got to make it smooth and then I'll apply another coat. And then for these, what would it look like if I apply this brown color on top? Hmm. Is that weird if I just cover it? We're experimenting, guys. <laughs> it makes it like a weird, dirty brown color. Don't know if I like that. I mean, I guess I could make it work. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, let me finish this pinky. I'm gonna do the thumb the same way. And I kinda like it because then you have a pop of purple underneath. Can no evil hold me down? 
Then no evil hold me down. When your will is on the ground, what you gonna do? I like the colors a lot more. I feel like the more fall colors would help that purple color. But for now, I'm okay with the color scheme. Um, and I took out a whole bunch of these, what is it, the airbrush paints to choose. Well, not choose. I kind of want to use all of them. Yeah. I don't know what it's going to look like once I spray it on. Like, how light is it going to be? How dark is it going to be? So, we're just going to play with it. So, yeah. I kind of feel like I need to do the blues and green glass. Nah. Also, do I dilute the, the liquid? Mind you, the paint says clean with soap and water. And I will be well, cleaner. I don't think I need to mix anything. So we're gonna go with, let's start with yellow. Like, is that enough? So, that might be too little. I'm gonna test it out. Push the little button. Okay, I feel air. I know with this, oh, that makes it. So if you twist this, you can feel like if it's more straight, we're gonna open it. Cause I want it like, Okay, we're gonna do the pinky. Where am I gonna go? I'm gonna go like towards the top. And if it gets on my skin, I'm okay with that because if I'm not mistaken, we're gonna, let it we're gonna do the same kind of design on my thumb. Okie dokie, let that air dry. Am I gonna put yellow anywhere else? I do not think so. So twist this top part off and then I'm going to use my cleanser. Do I shake this? Fill it for you. I'm gonna do a lot to make sure it cleans it. Close you up. So I'm gonna just spray. Oh, it smells like soap. Get all that color out. It don't gotta be perfectly clean. We're gonna take some of this orangey one. We're gonna do a little bit. Just like. Again, I'm gonna test this out. Oh, ho, ho. Oh no, I touched this for my mistake. You see? You know what? I'm gonna cover that. So I like it. It's like a yellowy and then orangey color right there. I like that. I think that's different. I think I'm gonna go in with the same orange right at this on the center of this. This is kind of hard doing it with your opposite, like your non-dominant hand. Gleam, gleam, gleam. Oh, that's like a red. I'm okay with that. I'm leaving it. I don't want to do too much. Let's move on to the these two. I think that's the only annoying thing, like having to clean it out after each freaking go. What if I just go straight in with the color? Let's try. We're gonna go with green. Or are you green? Oh, you are looking black, bro. Oh, there we go. On the tip. Let the air dry. I'm gonna go in with the lighter green now. You know what? If I put a little bit of white on the bottom, it'll make it a little bit more like bright, right? I think I'm gonna do that. Where's white? Oh, this one says pearly white. I'm gonna do like one, two drops, and then I'm gonna mix it. Uh-oh, I made a bubble. I'm gonna leave it. I tried to fix it. I think I made it worse. I'm gonna leave it. Last color. Right? Last color? Yeah, we're gonna go with the blue. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> I think this one might be my favorite. Oh, that is so pretty. I love this one. Dang. Man, I'm kind of upset about the green. Maybe I should do like a teeny little bit of blue right in the corner. Creep. 
Okay, okay. I'm not mad at it. I like it. I like it. So I'm gonna let that air dry a little bit and then go in with some top coat. So I'm gonna go off with my shiny white top coat. Oh snap, I'm going right over it and nothing is happening. I don't wanna jinx it because if it smudges or smears, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, I kind of feel like once you top coat them, it kind of like blends the colors together. No, why did I go for it? What the hell, why didn't I let it dry? Oh, I just wiped everything off. Oh, I'm so annoyed with myself. Okie dokie, let's fix this. Actually, that's not bad. I kind of like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. Now, officially, I'm gonna have to let it air dry because I do not want to do it again. Ooh, this is my favorite nail right here. I am so glad I took out the purple. I feel like the purple is throwing it off a little bit. First time using an airbrush machine. I am not gonna lie. It wasn't as bad as I thought. It was pretty easy to use, so I'm happy. I'm happy with my purchase. Okay, y'all, if this don't work now, okay, it's good now. So yep, I'm just gonna add Okay, real quick, I'm actually just gonna take out some of my caviar beads, different sizes. You guys, I just washed my hands. I am obsessed. Oh my god, I still have like some blue like color all over. It was actually really easy to apply. I just think my application was just like crappy. So I try to clean it up a little bit, but I'm actually gonna go back and do a little bit more later. But right now, I just wanna go ahead and add some caviar beads. Just a little bit around. I don't wanna take away from the color because even even though I have like some spots that are like, uh, I really like how these nails look. And I think just a little bit of caviar beads like dropped in places will look really good. Okay, so I'm going in with my Bling It, uh oh, right here, Bling It No Wipe Rhinestone Gel. I'm gonna take both sizes. So both of these caviar beads I sell on my website. Um, This is the, you could kind of, you could see the difference right here. This is the 0.8 and this is the 1.0 or 1.0. Do like little tiny clusters, like a dot here, a dot here. But in time we prevail. Don't trust those moments. Realize what's in yourself. Listen well. I know you well. Random. Made no freaking sense where I placed it. I'm gonna cure it. Oh my god, my first full nail look of this year. And I really like it. I think they came out really cute. I like the fact that each nail is a different color, but it all kind of ties in together. Ew, I like it. No bling. So you already know next video. I kind of want to do something similar, but amp it up, right? Let me know if you guys want to see that. But yeah, this is it for this video. Of course, I'm going to link everything that I use for you guys in the description box. Actually, I think everything I can link is on Amazon. So go to my Amazon storefront. I'll have it linked there. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, for the giveaway, I will leave the winner here if this person responds in time. If not, it will be a question mark hanging around here. But yeah, congratulations to this person if there is a person sitting right here. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Like this video if you enjoyed this nail design. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love ya.